Welcome back, my name is Kerry, and today I'm gonna to show you a hurricane resistant prefab home that people have been waiting for. Prefab homes have been a hot topic lately as people look for options that are built indoors faster, more affordably, or all the above, and it's leading to some really cool options. I've been in and around the offsite construction industry for a long time, and I can't remember another period with so many new options available. I've been trying to figure out why now, and I don't have the answer, but I think it's a combination of home prices, a home shortage, and technology allowing for new builds. Of course, we can't rule out the fact that maybe there's always been this many new options hitting the market, and I just wasn't paying attention. But that seems crazier than leaving the like button untapped and completely forgetting about the YouTube algorithm. What I've noticed is there are pockets of the world that are building more homes off-site than others and it's leading to prefab envy for areas that want more options but don't have the access. I've been on the lookout for specific areas that get a ton of requests so I was really excited to hear about a company building steel frame modulars with a modern look. The company I'm talking about is called Steel Homes Modular with their light gauge steel frame prefab homes that have a cool look and are hurricane resistant. What I'm gonna do is tell you about the company, check out a few of their homes and and let you know where they're available. Steel Homes Modular is a US-based company manufacturing high-tech light gauge steel for the construction of prefabricated building systems. The good news for people who've been up in the comments asking about options for Florida and the East Coast in general, these folks are building out of Miami and have designs that fit the vibe in that area. When I say that, I should note I haven't been to the Sunshine State or the Magic City since the 90s, so I'm certainly not an expert on their vibes. Most of what I know I get from Pipple, but I think you'll agree when you see what they got going on, they look cool. It's noted that in just a few short years, they've grown to one of the largest light gauge steel manufacturing plants on the East Coast, so they gotta be doing a few things right. Their mission is to manufacture light gauge products that make the world a better place. Their website says, we realize the potential in light gauge steel construction to solve important problems for people and the planet while creating profit for shareholders. We are serious about safety, driven to achieve excellence, and proud of what we do. Again, I don't know if it's because I'm looking closer now, but companies manufacturing steel frame structures seem to be popping up all over the place, and if you look at some of the benefits they offer, it's really not that hard to see why. I use the comments on this channel to gauge what people are interested in or worried about and a big concern lately has been extreme weather. One of the benefits mentioned by Steel Homes Modular is a greater protection for families during tornadoes or hurricanes which have both been on people's radar. Doppler radar. Stupid. They say our metal home design flexibility using steel members withstands hurricanes, tornadoes, earthquakes, and heavy snow. This style of home construction has been popping up more and more lately in California, up here in Canada, and apparently over in Florida, so I think it's something we better get used to seeing. I've noticed new companies coming into the space with steel and existing companies switching over from wood, so it seems like there is demand for the benefits offered. Some of the big benefits listed on their website include fire resistance, termite resistance and quality. It says our steel will not warp, crack, rot, shrink, or twist, which allows them to construct straight walls, perfect ceilings, and square corners for the floors. Another factor they're promoting that I hadn't considered is the sustainability of a steel home. I'm not the authority on the subject by any means, but they've noted it takes approximately one quarter of an acre of mature trees to produce the wood framing for a typical house. The same house can be steel framed with steel from three to four old cars, and they build their frames with 100% recyclable material. On top of the modular homes, they also build custom homes and fabricate trusses and panel walls for other products projects, but that's a topic for an entirely different video. What most people clicked on this video to see is what they offer for prefab homes, so let's have a look at what they got going on. Right now, Steel Homes Modular has a catalog containing 20 different possible floor plans with more on the way. Lots to choose from here. Their line ranges in size from a 264 square foot cabana up to well over 2,000 square feet, including small multifamily units, which I think could interest people looking to set up a house hack. Out of everything they currently offer, like most prefab companies, the smallest unit available is more of an accessory space than a dwelling. Their version of this is 264 square feet with dimensions of 12 feet wide by 22 feet long. What separates this accessory structure from some of the others currently available that I've looked at is the fact that it has a bathroom. If you're someone who likes to run three or four different liquids while they're working, like me, 
This is a big deal. The home office accessory space is a great concept, but if you're running inside multiple times a day to go to the bathroom, that could be a concern depending on how far it is and a bunch of other factors. Instead of dragging this video out and showing every single option they currently have available, which would likely put even more people than normal to sleep, I've decided to pick a few of my favorites. One thing I probably don't show enough on the channel that I do get quite a few requests for is larger homes suitable for a family. Steel Homes Modular offers plenty in that department. One of my favorites out of everything they currently offer is a whopping 1,800 square foot, three bedroom, two bathroom home they call the Lily. The Lily is delivered in two pieces, craned onto a foundation and has a modern contemporary look. Each piece of the home is 15 feet wide by 30 feet long. One side is the entire living and kitchen space and the other has the bedrooms and bathrooms. The result is a living area that's almost completely wide open from front to back that goes living room, dining room, kitchen with a family room on the back. The bedroom half has bedroom two, three and the main bathroom accessed off the living room while the main bedroom and ensuite is off the corner of the kitchen. It's a nice layout with storage throughout that I think would work well for a family. It has a modern look complete with front porch, LED lights, a tankless water heater, impact windows and doors, and is Florida State approved. One of the other plans that I like from Steel Homes Modular is a two bedroom, two bathroom plan they call the Orchid. The home is 15 feet wide by 58 feet long, taking on a similar shape to a traditional single wide, but with a modern look that I think looks cool with more curb appeal, especially for over in Florida where they have the tropical vibe going on. In those dimensions, the total footprint of the home is 870 square feet, which I think is a pretty realistic size for someone who wants a small home, but not a tiny tiny home if that makes sense. A lot of the new small footprint homes being offered are under 500 square feet, which can be great, but isn't a size that's gonna be for everyone. Some people want a little more dance floor. The way they have this home laid out, they have it split with bedrooms on either end of the home, which usually makes sense in a home like this to eliminate wasted space of a hall. One end has bedroom two, then they've got the second bath. The middle of the home has the living room, dining room, kitchen, and the other end is the main bedroom that's complete with an ensuite and walk-in closet. The description says this 50 15 by 58 foot house has a unique minimalistic style giving the bedrooms a larger and spacious area. It's noted that the home is hurricane resistant and can handle winds up to 178 miles per hour. There may be a lot of hot air on this channel but that doesn't mean I know anything about wind. However, according to the National Hurricane Center and the Saffir Simpson Hurricane Wind Scale, a Category 5 hurricane will have winds of 157 miles per hour or higher, so 178 miles per hour actually seems pretty good. The final option they offer that I think is a must-see is their duplex series for those looking to get a little more density out of their lot. Two of their duplex models stack up down, so don't necessarily require a larger lot to accommodate a bigger total space in the same footprint. I like the idea of a duplex where people want to live in one unit and rent out the other, also known as a house hack to offset the cost of homeowners with rental income. It's a popular strategy that people use, so I do like seeing duplex plans from prefab home providers. I think it's underutilized. This is usually where I state the price of everything shown in the video. However, there is nothing for prices on the Steel Home Modular's website. I've reached out and when I hear back, I will post the prices in the comments. Steel Homes Modular is located on the East Coast and has a large selection of options available from under 300 square feet to well over 2,000 square feet. They're building out a light gauge steel with a modern look that's hurricane resistant up to 178 miles per hour on a lot of their models. I get a lot of people requesting options on the East Coast and specifically Florida, so I think they're gonna be a popular option for people in that area. I'm pretty excited about what they got going on over there in Miami, so I'll be following along with what they're up to and posting updates right here on my YouTube channel. That's all I've got for today. If you like manufactured home videos, make sure to subscribe to my channel because I've got new ones coming out every single week. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.